Home is a horror game. It is one of the more horror game horror games that you could hope to play. It goes through all the motions. Here's a scary girl. She'll scream really loud. There we go. Screams really loud uh, because this is one of those games designed to startle you rather than scare you. It's okay. I'm being a bit churlish. It's all right. Uh, here we are just hiding from stuff. You've seen this in dozens of horror games. You know, especially in a post-amnesia slash Outlast world where so many indie horror games, the kind you'd find a dime a dozen on Steam, uh, you know, they all go through these motions. And it's all here. You know, we've got the scary girl, we've got the startling sound effects, we've got the stealth gameplay, we've got the whole trick of the world changes behind you, so you might go down a corridor and there's no door, and you come to a dead end, you turn around and there's a door there behind you. Ah! Ah-ha! You see? There weren't bricks there before there weren't bricks there before it's that kind of thing really i don't know why i thought there was some buzz around this one um but i know some uh like game news websites and what have you like posted about this as if it was a big deal uh, but then i played it um i had to wait for a while because it was appearing on the playstation store for quite some time uh, but every time i clicked on the the link to it on the PS Store, it just kept telling me that the page was unavailable. Um, and that happened for quite a few days after it came out. Uh, I only played it this week, but I think it was out the week before, or certainly a few days before I actually was able to get the, the store up and running for it. Uh, but I got it, and it's fine. And it's, you know, it's bog standard. It feels very Steam horror game. It's got that look and feel. Everything's a bit fake, like, I don't want to say fake looking, it's all plasticky looking. You know, you've got these dirty corridors that are still a bit too clean looking because they're not very detailed. Uh, and again, that's okay. You know, I don't need every game to be uh, exquisitely detailed and go too far like, you know, some games we talked about recently. Uh, I, I think this would be more effective if it was in VR. Uh, this is... Uh, compatible with stuff like PlayStation VR and, you know, the VR headsets you can get elsewhere. And fuck that. I, d I don't... I I've said before, I'm not into virtual reality. Um, it hurts my eyes. I'm someone prone to migraines. Uh, if they get an excuse to set in and VR gives them an excuse to set in, I get motion sickness very easily. Uh, this is part of what stopped VR being so uh, widespread, you know, being so adopted by the mainstream there's just too many barriers to entry both physically and financially uh, so i didn't go in for that and i feel that if a horror game needs virtual reality in order to be scarier it's probably not a great horror game i've played plenty of horror games that are terrifying enough without you needing a big hunk of plastic on your head uh, and this is not one of those it's not one of those games that that's particularly scary um mostly because it's all stuff we've seen before the same kind of stealth the same kind of hiding the same kind of monsters i mean the scary girl grudge-esque creature you know that was overdone in the early 2000s let alone today um and and yeah but although to this game's credit it does look like the monsters aren't assets, like, just taken from a store somewhere. Uh, at least, I don't think so. They might be. I'm sure within seconds someone in the comment section will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, hopefully I'm not. Um, they're designed nicely. I mean, as far as scary girls go, she's one of the better-looking ones, I guess. Uh, and there are other monsters. We'll have a look at one of those later on. That um, It's quite original. I mean, it's a big naked Crypt Keeper with giant hands and a big swinging dingus. Uh, so that's something to look forward to in a few moments. You know, we'll get to that. Won't that be enjoyable for everyone? Also, to its credit, it's a Thai horror game and retains a lot of Thai flavour. It's an authentic experience in that regards the environmental details. Uh, a lot of mythology is in this game, wrapped up in some of the monsters. And that's nice to see. It, it sets it apart, you know, from just your generic abandoned mental hospital kind of indie horror game that you're often used to seeing um of which i think outlast should be one of the last ones to to kind of do that setting it's overdone and you know it's overdone uh the puzzles in this game are again very bog standard 
mostly centered around find a key or as you saw a little earlier there's a chain on a door so find the bolt cutters then of course discard the bolt cutters because i'm sure they'll never be needed again i don't know why protagonists do that shit but they do um there's stuff like uh, number puzzles, you know, work out the combination to a safe. There's actually one really obtuse one in this one that involves looking at numbers upside down and then doing the opposite of those upside down numbers on a safe combination. I might just show it at the end just to and let you work out at home um, exactly how it's solved. So this is Big Crypt Keeper. You'll get a, a good look at him later on. Uh, and, yeah, it's... Oh, there he is. It's okay. You know, if you're starved for some horror and just want something very simple, very easy to get your head around, this ain't going to make you think too much. Outside of, like I say, one or two ob obtuse, obscure puzzles. Um, this, this was different. I, I say different. We've had this old stealth from a giant thing before. Um... Most notably, uh, Arkham Asylum with the Scarecrow missions. But it's nicely... Oh, there's the dingus. Did you see the dingus there? You've all got to pay attention to the dingus. Playing me made this realise I don't think I've had much in the way of really tantalising horror to play this year so far. Playing me made this realise... Playing me made this realise... Playing me made this realise... Off the top of my head, I can't think of anything. There might be something I've forgotten. But the fact I can't remember a really striking horror game... Uh, this year probably says quite a bit. They went through a little bit of a renaissance, um, sort of after Amnesia and then after Outlast, and then then not really. Uh, sort of they've kind of been relegated back to this sort of level of game, where you know there might be a few people that have heard of it, but otherwise it's just another one. Um, but yeah, this ain't bad as gameplay goes. You avoid the the searchlight of the, you know, the red light of the enemy that acts, I should say, as a searchlight. That's fine. It's okay. And the game doesn't... It doesn't stick to one thing. You know, the first level, run away from uh, the grudge girl. This level was the next one. Avoid giant naked Crypt Keeper. So it is always changing its, uh, you know, its challenges. You know, what... what antagonists there are and how you uh, get around them this is a different experience from the the level one experience and that's good to see you know a lot of these games get very lazy they find an enemy that they like the look of and just have that chase you for the entire game so as bog standard as all the gameplay is here at least it switches between different flavors of stuff you've seen before that's one of the reasons why uh, I'm sort of doing doing a video on this one, because as much as I really sounded like I hated it at the beginning of the video, I'm just realising now I sounded very harsh. I am i don't think this is bad at all. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's recommended for anyone. I think this one is for people who just really, really like horror, have played everything else to death, and might need just a little bit of something else. Uh, you know, just something to startle them, to, to surprise them a bit with loud noises uh, and bright lights. And th this will do that just fine. You know, it's got a flashlight, but the flashlight doesn't run out. It doesn't have a battery that drains in a matter of second. There it is. Hello, flashlight. That was good timing, wasn't it? Um, I've started talking over the video game footage again in a commentary style. Uh, rather than do it all pre-recorded, uh, because that came across, I think, as a bit stiff and unnatural, and I forgot just how much fun I had just talking over the videos like this. I did it for uh, Dark Souls Remastered on Switch, because I was like, well, you know, no one wants a big professional review type thing for that, uh, so I'll just do it casual-like. But then I realised the casual stuff is actually quite enjoyable to do, and at least according to some feedback, more enjoyable to listen to than me just uh, nattering on. Uh, you know, I won't go too casual with it and drift off onto tangents like I'm doing now, depending on the game. You know, something like Red Dead, I did it more this style for that, but I, I 
still focused very much on the criticism to make it more of a more of a review. Whereas this, you know, it's home sweet home. Most of you aren't going to play it. Most of my viewers aren't even going to watch this video because it's not something really popular already because that's how YouTube works now. Uh, so I could really just say whatever the fuck I want. You know, I could tell you all to vote in the midterms right now, which, you know everyone will do uh, so uh, everyone will talk about it not everyone will vote because people don't um but you know i, I could do that if i wanted to uh, i'm i'm not gonna i mean i did but i'm not gonna do it uh, and here we are going up and down stairs uh, just just checking doors and things and using keys that's one annoying thing, is the door handle and door are two separate entities. So you've got to look at the door handle to use the key. But that's neither here nor there. That's a toilet. That's another toilet. Uh, we can open all of the toilets to see what happens with the toilets. And uh, you can all be surprised by what we might find in the toilet. He was having a shit.